Hello guys, this is Pontiff, you have here coming at you the 10th episode of the Giant World Let's Play series. How have you been guys? I've been great and yeah, I just went through this nether portal and uh, there were some there were some creepers and uh, a few zombies here waiting for me on the other side. Uh, I guess they just uh, went through the nether portal while I was in the overworld and uh, yeah, they just surprised me. I, I, was, I wasn't expecting them when I came through, I just couldn't take care of all of them. One of the creepers exploded and it whacked out my portal. So, uh, I just showed you my gear there, I'm, I'm ready to fight some, some wither skeletons here in the nether fortress. So yeah, for this episode what I have planned, since it's the 10th episode, we can do something like a, a, a giant milestone, a huge thing in Minecraft. I'm gonna fight the two bosses. Initially I wasn't uh, planning on fighting the wither, uh, I was just gonna fight the ender, the ender dragon. But last episode, Jam Jar of Knowledge uh, told me to, so <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna fight the wither. And uh, here I am trying to, I'm going to try to collect some wither skulls. Okay, so about last episode, uh, yeah, it was a major fail on my part. Uh, s uh, when I uploaded, uh, I just uh, didn't see that before I uploaded, I didn't uh, check it uh, all the way through. And uh, somewhere in the middle, um, the voice didn't, um, you know, the sounds and the video didn't match. And uh, yeah, that episode, it's gone by now. I can't do anything to fix it because I usually keep my files, like the files that I crop out to make these episodes. Just in case uh, if something goes wrong, so I could uh, go back and fix it at any point. But that time I didn't. I I, I had already deleted them. And uh, yeah, you know Murphy's law. If uh, if anything can go wrong, it will. So it went wrong. And uh, yeah, that episode is uh, like a lost cause. I can't do anything to fix it by now. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave it be there. Uh, yeah, it's, it it will be like a reminder for me to to keep my files from now on. So yeah, I I did a lot of things for that episode, like uh, lots of work went to it, and uh, it's gone by now. So there's nothing we can do. So I just <laughs> killed my two, my first two wither skeletons, and I got a skull. I actually just um, need one more because I already have one back in the base, which means uh, this is not probably not gonna take a long time. Uh, but we'll see, we'll see. So let's uh, skip. I will skip here and uh, see what we have then. Okay guys, I'm here, I died a couple of times, so I, uh, you know, I had to go back and um, I got uh, some more gear, uh, some diamond armor, because I, I'm good at fighting these guys, but when one of them attacks me from behind, there's just nothing I can do, I just wither to death, so yeah, I just got, um, I just got some diamond gear, so I could uh, probably, you know, fight them better, and I just killed this guy and he, <laughs> there we go, I have a wither skull. I didn't even need that here. Man, what you gonna do? So, we're ready to fight the Wither. Uh, let's get prepared to fight the Ender Dragon. Okay, so one more thing before I go to collect whatever I need. Here is the, uh, here is the portal that was blown up. I am going to show you how to light it up. You know, I died here and came back, which means I already had another portal spawn here. But I took it down just so I could demonstrate to you guys. Boom, like that. So, mm, probably most of you guys know this, but for some of you who don't, there, there you go. You can craft a fire charge in the nether to get back safely to the overworld without dying and losing your XP. That, that's how they got me the first time around. Damn. Okay guys, so here I am in the desert, which is just on the other side of the mountain near my base. And uh, yeah, I'm fighting uh, some endermen here. I'm trying to farm uh, farm up some ender pearls. Uh, that's how I do it every time. Like I go into the desert, do a platform two blocks high from the ground, stand beneath it, and fight these guys, or they can't even get me, get to me. There's nothing they can do about it. But uh, I guess now they have those endermites. As you guys can see, they they took me actually down to four hearts, uh, which is pretty amazing for them. But yeah, still not a match for me. Still not a match. <laughs> So that's how I collect my ender pearls. Uh, I'm gonna be killing some endermen here. I will come back to you when I have enough. Hmm. Can can I hit him? Let's see. Okay, guys. I'm here. I actually already gathered a bunch of ender pearls, which is I think that will be plenty. But uh, look at this. Look at this little bugger here. Look at him. Um, I'm, he's not even here. I can't hit him. Uh, he's affected by gravity. Hmm. Can can he suffocate? Let's see. Hmm. I I'm not hearing any suffocation noises. He's he's not dying. Okay, he's here. Hmm. I'm just gonna leave him be. Now let's see if he will despawn. If he doesn't, uh, 
Uh, uh, let's see. We'll probably think of something if he doesn't, you know, despawn. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, guys, I gathered a bunch of Ender Pearls. I even got those Ender Eyes from those item frames there. And uh, yeah, we're gonna try to find the, the what's it called? The stronghold now. The stronghold. Okay, so <laughs> I actually recorded this segment a few more times before this one uh, because I kept calling them abandoned fortresses and I just couldn't think of the word stronghold. I don't know what was with me. Okay, so. Uh, I have a bunch of ender eyes. I think that will be plenty, but you never know how far these things will be. And I'm not just gonna, I'm just not just gonna randomly throw uh, a bunch of ender eyes uh, here and there, trying to you know find a stronghold. I actually got a plan for this. Uh, okay, I throw that deck. I picked it up again. I don't know why I did this. So I have a plan for this. It's um, it will be kind of tri triangulating. Uh, let's see. Now. I throw this ender pearl, right? Uh, let's see. Mm. It went through there, which I'm not sure if it did because those particles are fairly similar to the Ender Portal particles, and I couldn't find the eye as well. So I'm, I'm just gonna throw another eye here at this point. Throw it. Let's see where. Bam. Where did it go? Okay, so there. So now we make an imaginary line going that direction. Okay, and uh, keep that in mind. This line here. Okay. So then let's go over there, over, I don't know, maybe 20 to 30 blocks away from the initial from the initial place where we threw the first Ender Pearl, uh, our Ender Eye, then throw another one. So now we have uh, this another line like this, which means, um, like think of those lines as vectors, uh, like um, endless lines. And uh, at some point, uh, these two lines will cross. Uh, which means uh, that the place where they cross is going to be the uh, the abandoned for oh uh, there I go again the stronghold I meant to say the stronghold so yeah this method is called triangulating uh, which uh, which is like that because you know those two lines for will form like an arrow uh, thingy which is uh, if we uh, connect the first two initial places where you threw the ender the ender eyes as well uh, it will form a triangle okay that was pretty messed up I'm not good with math and geometry and stuff so yeah uh, there are actually sites that uh, calculate these things uh, you know to precision like you throw just uh, throw just uh, two ender eyes and eyes of ender and I don't know what they're called you just throw two of these guys and uh, the site will calculate and tell you where the stronghold is uh, that's just not how I do things Let's see now another ender pearl. Here it shows me this uh, huge mountain uh, in the desert that we were just a few seconds ago. Let's uh, let's hop up uh, 20 or 30 blocks here in that direction. Throw another one. Okay, so this one shows me the mountain as well. Okay, so by this point, it's actually pretty clear to me that the the, the, the stronghold is uh, probably somewhere beneath this desert. Um, most probably somewhere beneath this uh, huge uh, desert mountain I have here and yeah I, that was uh, actually pretty close uh, that was a lot closer than I expected it to be and I d just used like I don't know uh, five six uh, uh, and eyes of ender which is uh, a lot less than I expected but uh, I guess I should be happy about it right uh, so it's a nice uh, cute little segment where I just uh, fail at explaining to you guys what triangulating means and uh, we get to find the stronghold in like I don't know what what was that let me check was it five minutes mm, ten, ten. yeah five minutes probably for uh, I'm just throwing a few more ender eyes here uh, just so like I'm sure if uh, that thing is really here I just couldn't believe it I was like really Th there's this epic mountain here and I have an epic uh, stronghold beneath it <laughs> very very nice what I'm gonna do now is uh, I'm gonna let's see another one okay here okay here I'm gonna dig somewhere in here I'm gonna make like a little little entryway into the mountain and I'm not just gonna go ahead and st dig straight down and uh, I'm hoping that I will hit the stronghold if I don't hit it somewhere like I don't know 20 or 10 blocks high from the bedrock I'm gonna start like a little strip mine to find it and when whenever I find it, I'm 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 just gonna skip to that part where I find it, and I'm gonna show you guys. Come on. 
Okay, I'm digging down in a spiral staircase and BAM! There we go, the stronghold. Oh, this is a lot more easy, a lot easier than I expected it to be. I've searched for strongholds like two more times in survival in my life. I know which is not a lot, but every da damn time it was like horrible. Horrible. I had to travel a lot of blocks, I had to throw a bunch of ender eyes and I had to go back for more. Uh, this one was pretty easy, uh, very nice, very nice, and uh, I'm looking through this fortress, I just skip this part, like, okay, not skip, but uh, fast forward through it, blah, 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 I'm looking uh, through the chest, uh, got some gold, I don't know, another ender pearl, blah, 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 uh, I'm not just, I'm not showing you guys this part because it's just me going through a bunch of doors, which is uh, pretty boring, so, uh, in these strongholds there are silverfish, right? And the only, the only way silverfish can attack you in these strongholds is if uh, you break some blocks and they, you know, they spawn from the blocks and kill you, uh, attack you. Or if there is the spawner. So I know that I didn't break any blocks anytime soon and there is a silverfish attacking me, which means, oh man, the spawner is somewhere near, which means the portal is near. Okay, so, look, take a look at that. Uh, you see those uh, sandstone blocks? This is where I came down from. Oh man, it's so it's so close. Uh, everything is going so swell for me right now. Okay, kill this guy. So we found a portal. I'm just gonna go and uh, there are a few more things that I have to do before we fight the Ender Dragon. But uh, yeah. Okay, so here we are in the base, and I'm I'm hello hello all that. I'm collecting, uh, okay, uh, you see that? Those are pumpkins, and uh, this is the ice tray, I don't think I've shown you guys the ice tray. Uh, very nice. I don't know why these blocks aren't freezing. There's nothing above them. Uh, they're not in a different biome, I don't know. <coughs> okay, so I have this little guy here, I'm gonna collect a bunch of snow. We're gonna do everything that the Reddit told us to do while fighting the dragon. <laughs> oh man, I can't wait, I can't wait. Okay, guys. Here we are. I've collected everything and it's in this ender chest. Uh, take, let's take a look. I have I have a thousand a hundred pumpkins and a bunch of snow uh, just enough to spawn a hundred uh, of those uh, snow guys and I have leather armor, stone swords and normal bow with some arrows. I also have this um, you know wither thingies here as uh, some milk because we're gonna be fighting it and my tools. Yeah, uh, those are the those are the things we're gonna do to fight the to fight the. Okay, so I <laughs> yeah I'm, I have some TNT as well. Uh, all of those things were suggested in the Reddit, like uh, spawn a hundred uh, snow golems and uh, you know those armor thingies and the TNT. It's gonna be an interesting fight, I guess. Okay, here I am near the portal. Let's sleep to rest our spawn because I feel like I'm gonna die a bunch of times here. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Okay, so Reddit guys, I hope uh, those of you who suggested these things are watching because I'm doing this all of this for you because I really wanted this fight to be, you know, exciting. I didn't want to show any of the dope parts where, like, you guys have seen people, you know, with the full armor gear going in with uh, like these killer bows and the gender dragon fight is not, um, it's not a tough one at all. Because, uh, you know, there are just uh, some of the things you have to do, like there are some rules you have to keep just so you can fight them. So I'm, I'm hoping that um, these uh, nerfs that I did to myself will make it a bit more interesting. Uh, did that silverfish die on top of the nether portal block? Why did he die? Huh, that, that, that's very interesting. I guess because, I don't know, it's not a full block, I think. Does he think he's suffocating in them or something? I don't know, I don't know. Okay. So we're ready. I have to get my ender pearls in my hotbar because I'm probably gonna be somewhere, you know, in the darkness on top of a obsidian square. Uh, yeah, the spawn platform. And uh, yeah, let's hope that uh, the spawn platform. Yes. Yeah, so I mean, I ha I have to have this ender pearl just so I could uh, throw it on on the main island so that um, the ender dragon can't push me off. Okay, so let's put in those. Um, Eyes of Ender, like that, blah 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 blah, and BAM! Here we go, uh, okay, so I'm closed in, this is, I've seen that um, you can spawn in the, in the island itself, I actually had never happened to me before, hmm. a good thing I have my pick, because if I hadn't 
had my guy would have been dead. I don't know if that <laughs> if that sentence was correct grammat grammatically. So oh, hmm. Okay, so I think the I think he's um, on the other side of the island or something, which is uh, which is good, uh, very good for us because we have to spawn a hundred. A uh, hundred snow golems. Ah, uh, this is like the second try I, I I'm doing here because yeah, the first one <laughs> I, c I just couldn't spawn the golems. Uh, the Ender Dragon hit me and I flew off the island, which was very bad. But I'm not showing you guys that part because if I showed you every that I have, man, this episode would be so long. Okay, so this is how how we're gonna spawn the how we're gonna spawn the iron. Why am I keep saying iron? The snow golems like that. Bam. And bam, and ba it's very convenient that uh, we can now do this. So let's make this process a bit more fast. I actually kind of like that sound where the the dispenser, you know, started uh, like w where it was sped up. It was like music to my ears. Look at that, a hundred snow gallons. Oh man, this is gonna be so epic. Uh, one of the things that worries me that worries me is that they're gonna hit a lot of endermen here and they're gonna be teleporting around a lot which means this place is gonna be packed full with uh, endermites yeah endermites man 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 okay so what I'm doing here is uh, just get gathering a bunch of snowballs because we're gonna use snowballs to take down the ender crystals on top of the uh, the obsidian pillars I'm hope I, I hope my terminology is right here okay so like this Bam! And let's take a look. Another one. Bam! Okay, this part of the video might be a bit dark, but it's the end. What you gonna do about it? Oh man! Uh, actually, this thing doing uh, destroying these crystals with snowballs is a lot more easy than destroying them with uh, like a ball. Yeah. It, so if you guys wanna, you know, just to make it easier, just use snowballs. It's a lot more easy. I'm telling you. And bam! Boom! Double kill. <laughs> Very nice, very 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 nice. Uh, so these snowballs are actually pretty good to fend off the ender dragon like that as well. Yeah, you don't you don't need a bow. Bam bam like that. He just flies away. <laughs> very nice. So uh, yeah, whenever I got uh, rid of all the uh, ender crystals, this is how I was uh, fighting him. Like bam bam. When he hits me once, I hit him like three or four times. You know. Not uh, not each of my attacks was this uh, sufficient, but uh, that's how I actually got him uh, down to low health. Oh, hey, hey, I used TNT as well, <laughs> like this. Bam. Um, doesn't do much damage though. Doesn't do much damage. So yeah, I got him low, and I was like, uh, I have to run to the edge. No, 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 don't kill him. Run to the edge because I want the portal to be you know near the edge somewhere, not uh, in the center of the island. But that dumb dumb dragon attacked me from the sides here. Bam, and I was like. I'm, I'm gonna <laughs> like I reacted my reflexes were like just kill him so he died here very very nice and I got a bunch of XP oh <laughs> uh, man it's been so long I haven't killed the dragon in such a long time uh, this was actually a pretty interesting fight I wish I could have shown you all of it but it's in my standards that's uh, that's not so interesting I don't think people would be interested in watching that but yeah, it was an interesting fight. I'm very happy that I did uh, all of the things I did. So yeah, we have the we have access to the Ender uh, Egg now. To the is it the Ender Egg? No, the Dragon Egg. We have access to the Dragon Egg now, and I have a very nice idea for the Dragon Egg. I'm gonna be building it next episode. So if you guys are watching this self uh, self promotion, tune in next time to see what I'm gonna do with the egg as well. But yeah, don't leave it. Don't leave just that. Uh, stay, stay tuned because I'm gonna be fighting the wither as well. I'm just showing you guys this part because, as you guys can see, I'm very co like I'm taking precautions here. I've had the ender, dra ender dragon egg like fall into that portal once. I was like this. Did you see that? I I I clicked it like that with one of my silk touch pickaxes. And it just popped off and went to the portal. And I thought I could pick pick it up again with silk touches. I'm sure, I'm sure that you could do that at one point. I'm sure that you could. <laughs> Doesn't matter. There is a lot, a lot of ways to pick up the and the drag, the egg like this. Bam. So, uh, with the help of a torch, let's fight the wither now. 
Oh, 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 here we are. I just dug like a hole into the pillar, into the side of the pillar. Um, like this. Here we go, here we go. Wither fight number one. Getting ready. I know that uh, that pillar won't hold him in place. I just wanted to place it inside. Bam. What I don't realize is that I haven't uh, fought the Wither in a long time too. And I just don't remember how powerful that little bugger was. Oh, this is so loud, so loud. This is so wrong. Okay, let's turn it down a bit for my... Uh, for you it will be already turned down, don't worry. Okay, so yeah, what I don't realize is that it, I haven't fought the Wither uh, in a long time. And I don't remember how powerful it is. And I'm still wearing my leather armor. And I was like, oh, I can fight the Wither in a leather armor. No, you can't, dude. No, you can't. So now I'm covering here uh, beneath the portal. There he goes. Uh... I'm drinking all of the milk I can, which is good for your bones, but uh, oh man, did you see that? Was that half a heart? <laughs> oh no, I hadn't realized that I was left with half a heart there. I I'm just, I'm gonna try to kill him, but uh, not not very confident in myself. Let's take a look. This will be, if I, if I keep doing this, it will be a very boring fight. Come on, show your face. Is he taking damage from... I think when when the snow golems hit him, he goes red. Okay, so all of a sudden it's very silent. I kill this little bugger here. All of a sudden it's very silent. I can't find him. I will go around looking for him, but no. What happened is actually he went through the portal and I lost my wither. Yeah, I don't know how many of you guys have done that, but I, I managed to lose a wither in the end. Okay, and I got killed again. Okay, so what happened actually? Hmm. Damn, the Wither, man. Okay, so what happened was the Wither uh, went through the portal. Oh, man. Went through the portal. So, when you go through the portal, you actually teleport to the last bed you slept in. And since, uh, thank thankfully, he, he never slept in any of my beds, he went to spawn. And I tried to look for him with the compass and I couldn't find anything. So, that's why I broke my bed and went through the portal again. And we have this little wither hole here, <laughs> uh, right in the right in the spawn. Oh man! So, uh, I'm thinking, what happened from there on? Well, I did some research. Again, I had to. I ask uh, when I say research, I asked on the Reddit, and people said he's probably in the in the spawn, and they told me how to find it, and I'm here in the spawn. Um, Spawn chunks are actually always loaded, right? Because that, that, that's that's the reason people like build here iron golem farms and uh, you know AF cable, all kinds of farms in the spawn chunks because they're always loaded and those farms will always be on. So this means that uh, when the wither came through the portal, these chunks were loaded. And the wither, oh here is here is another wither hole. And the wither, the little bugger he is, is um, he hates all of uh, Natchez creatures like uh, he hates. Uh, Cows and sheep and chickens and whatnot. He hates everything. And when he came through the portal, he was here in these chunks which were loaded. And he probably saw some of these animals. And he was like, I'm gonna kill you. And he started uh, chasing them around. Which means that uh, he will be kind of easy to track, I guess, because uh, there will be some damage here in the world. All of those black buster thingies will have uh, caused uh, like these little wither holes you see in the ground and I know that those are not dug by me because I never did anything around here and you guys can see that there were um, patches of dirt that wasn't overgrown by grass and uh, yeah that kinda sums it up that's uh, that's where the wither went and <laughs> if you guys ever happen to have something like this happen to you okay hello cow taking damage from uh, unknown reasons oh there is another wither hole I see it, I see it. So if you guys say anything, ever have something like this happen to you, you guys know that uh, you can follow the Wither. And even if it's not uh, in the spawn chunks, like if you're fighting him, so oh wow, a big hole here. Damn, he took a big chunk out of the mountain, he went through the mountain that Wither. Damn Wither. Okay, so if you're fighting him somewhere in the overworld, I, I, I don't know, and for some reason he kills you, <laughs> and uh, you have to come back and he's not there. You guys should know that this is how you how you can drag your wither through your overworld. Oh man, he caused so much damage, he destroyed my world here. Oh, oh just damn wither. 
Okay, so he probably went somewhere in this direction. And yeah, somewhere here. So you guys can see I have my compass. I actually went all the way from my from my base to here. And I just couldn't find those wither holes that I did in the first place. I don't know why. I guess I wasn't looking for it uh, at the time. But yeah, I broke my bed, jumped to the portal, and now we're here. I'm trying to I'm trying to locate another wither hole. So he went through that mountain. It's pr it's clear that he is going through this fort forest, not fortress. He's going through this forest, and he's somewhere. We gotta be close because spawn chunks aren't that big and uh, he probably hit the border where the chunks aren't loaded anymore and he's just waiting for me there uh, which means it will be easy to find him I'm not sure if it will be easy to kill him because I still don't oh damn it, I'm not good at this uh, I I don't have uh, I'm, a, I'm a bit rusty and I can't throw ender pearls like I used to throw them hmm yeah, so I don't I don't know if I will be able to kill him on the first try because I still have just uh, you know an enchanted diamond gear. I never realized. Okay, I'm so very bad. I never realized how strong he was. Okay, we got him. Okay, there he is. He's somewhere here, somewhere in here. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, dude. Where are you? Where are you? I can smell you. Hmm. Okay. Oh, there 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 are some blocks here on the ground. Okay, now I hear him. I hear him. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. So, guys, he killed me so many times. So many times I had to go back and brew a bunch of potions. I had to inch get new diamond gear. And so, uh, yeah, this uh, this clip is a bit like, uh, you know, derpy. As you guys can see, there is like this uh, strange effect I tried to put in the video. Just because in a few seconds it's gonna go dark. And since I already fought him a few times and he killed me a few times and when I say a few I don't mean a few it was a lot. I kind of have experience now with fighting the wither outdoors. It's not good. Don't don't fight him outdoors. <laughs> he just kills me every time. Uh the best thing I could do is just jump in a in a cave. So that's what I'm going to be doing now whenever I okay, I I see him. Okay, the, let's get the strength and the regen potions. He killed me so many times, man. So many times. Like, this is so late at night and I just can't give up right now. And I'm like, I'm gonna kill you. So, this is try number, I don't know, 9, 10. Not sure. But I know that if I, I know that there is uh, this little hole here. And if I run, he will follow me. Okay, I actually never went through this part. I w went through the other side of this uh, cave. Oh, man. And this part is a bit dark. I do realize that. And when I say a bit dark, it's a lot of it's <laughs> lots of darkness here. Um, I'm hoping that this filter I put will kind of make it better. Oh man, buggy wither! I'm trying to kill you. Stay, stand still, stand still. Damn Twitter killed me so many times, man. And I know I said that, I said that a lot, but I'm just so frustrated right now. I went back, I brew a bunch of potions and I didn't have a strength potion and he still kept killing me. And the first time when he killed me I didn't have my my sword. Uh, yeah, I lost my sword when I was uh, picking up my items, I didn't pick up my uber sword with the looting on it. And uh, yeah, I was uh, trying to kill him and, got, and I got so close one of the times but I just had my axe so when he m went into melee form, uh, yeah, he just kicked me. He just kicked me around and I just couldn't kill him. But now I have I have crafted another sword. It's not enchanted, but I think it's gonna do. So this is how I fought him. Like uh, he was trying to get to me by you know breaking those blocks, and I kept healing down here, kept hitting him with the bow. And the bow is power four, I think, but it's not doing a lot of damage to him. So yeah, I guess I guess I really underestimated uh, the wither. I thought I would. I thought I could take him on with uh, le leather, like leather armor and uh, stone sword. Oh man, how wrong I was! <laughs> oh, so so bad. But uh, yeah, this time, this time I'm gonna get him. Um, I realize that right now you're just seeing my hotbar there with uh, the little bow sign and uh, some wither here and there. But uh, yeah, this is not a this is not a clip I want to skip. There we go, there we go, oh finally, die, die you bastard. <sighs> okay, relax. I'm not gonna die here, not anymore. I'm just gonna pick up, I'm just gonna pick up the nether star. Oh, I already have it in my inventory. 
I'm gonna go back into the base now and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna relax for a few seconds and I will meet you guys back there for the final commentary in the end of the episode and the question to the jam jar of knowledge. Can you guys guess where I'm standing? Well, can ya? <laughs> oh man, I haven't built one of these in such a long time. I gotta say, it's so satisfying. Ah, oh man, the beacon. I tried to rename it um, to Pip Jelly. Uh, he was the guy who commented uh, and uh, you know I told me to ask the Jam Jar Novich if we should kill the Wither, and the Jam Jar said yes, and so that's why I killed it. Or or else we pr I probably wouldn't have done it this episode. So I tried to rename it in an anvil, and you know when I put it down and when I pick it back up, it's still named Beacon. So yeah, that's not working, but. Uh, Pip Jelly, I'm dedicating this beacon to you. Thanks for being a fan, thanks for commenting every time on my videos. And uh, again, this uh, this time you commented again, one of your uh, one of the questions for the Giant Jar of Knowledge is yours. And the other one is uh, Kufonite. And Kufonite was actually the first one uh, to ever comment and to ever ask something, the Giant Jar of Knowledge. I'm very happy, I'm very happy to see you guys uh, sticking around to watch, the, to watch this episode that I'm putting out. Oh, nice view. And uh, yeah, so I I went back and uh, watched this episode, like episode 10. Like now I'm checking it every every step of the way. I'm checking if something is going wrong with the episode since the uh, last one uh, was such a fail. <laughs> and I gotta say, uh, it was a good episode overall. But man, is my commentary derpy at sometimes? Like when I was talking about that triangulation stuff, <laughs> or at the end when I was uh, trying to fight the wither. But still, I'm happy. I'm happy. So uh, here we are. Uh, above uh, everything near the jam jar inside of it let's let's ask let's see first question oops not like that first question uh kufonite will pontiff ever build an above ground slime farm in a swamp i gotta say i have to do one of these because you know uh, with all the new slime block mechanics which i haven't uh, built anything in this world but i've played around a lot in survival and i have a few good ideas let's see now let's see what the jam jar has to say going down and now since we have those slime blocks we can do this thing uh, a lot better <laughs> let's see oh no <laughs> okay I guess, I guess the jam jar wants me to fight to fight my own battles with my two hands so I, <laughs> I gotta kill all the slimes by hand okay let's see the second question will sir sir <laughs> sir pontiff ever build a mighty castle well I guess if I have a castle I will be a sir won't I let's ask it Bam. Okay. Hmm. Castle. I haven't built many castles in Minecraft, actually. Oops. Oh yes. <laughs> Man, you're giving me a lot of work here. So yeah, I haven't built a lot of castles in Minecraft. I'm not very good at that stuff. But uh, I might. I might. I might build it sometime. Okay, guys. So uh, this was episode 10, and uh, thanks uh, for all the Reddit guys who. Uh, replied when I asked uh, what we should do with the ender dragon and thanks uh, thanks um, to everyone for commenting and uh, sticking with us and yeah that's pretty much it so thank you guys for watching and uh, hope you liked it and see you next time